team with Walter and Riley from Garmin and Riley was going to try for a top 20 in our category but uh well it was just chaos we've all lost each other the race is split to shit these sections where the rain has built up in the little dips and it went from a peloton at about 40 minutes to just absolutely blown to bits I think Peter Sagan is up the road everyone's joining into little groups trying to keep the pace up and uh well maybe I'll try and get into one so for those who don't know Unbound is a 100 mile, 200 mile, and 350 mile gravel race in the middle, in the heart of North America. We're in the state of Kansas, started in a town called Emporia, and today I'm just doing the 100 mile route, which is long enough. I was very happy to find out this morning that being British, we've got some rain forecast. Probably not thunderstorms, as was the worry for a few days, but definitely woke up and rode here a little bit chilly which was welcome because yesterday's warm-up ride too hot for me still it's a long way especially off-road so i need to stay on top of hydration stay on top of eating and find my friends you know what probably gonna hold up here and just see if i can find them because cycling is better with friends The front's really fast. How's Walter? Where is well, he? he uh, I clipped the back wheel. Someone was on me. And then he, I clipped his front wheel, or his back wheel. We both crashed. And one other dude crashed. And then he lost the cleat. And I thought my, I my drive train. So a great start then, really. Yeah, I was like, wow, really crushing in the first 30. <laughs> I said I was going to send it. I lost the cleat. I fixed it. <laughs> my cleat's come loose. My cleat came loose. My right foot has so much float. Oh, yeah. Same thing? Yeah. I lost a bolt. Yes. Yeah, I, I, yeah. That's what four is for. <laughs> I'm missing one bolt. So unfortunately, my main rival in this race, Peter Sagan, as you all know, he uh, he stopped for a pee by the side of the road and then rode all the way up to the front and then attacked and caused all the splits. So. I think he's gonna beat me. I don't know. He might have a mechanical or something. In which case, I'll make sure to attack him. Oh yeah. Nice. Is it sore? Battle scars, nah. Adrenaline, baby. Minor problem. My cleat has come loose. And it's causing me pain in the knee. So, quick stop, lose some time, but worth it for uh, working knees by the end of the event does mean I've lost Walter and Riley. <laughs> Nutrition strategy today, I've basically packed so I don't have to use the feed stations which are at 40 miles and 60 miles. In terms of real food, I have a weird squashed sandwich with some fake turkey inside of it. Just have a nibble on when you don't want gels. And I've got about 10 gels in my pocket. It's half caffeine, half not. But the good bit is inside the bottles. I have two 800 ml bottles, so absolutely massive, both with 90 grams of Sturka carbohydrate mix in. So if you're aiming for 90 grams an hour, you could do it just with bottles if you're thirsty. Uh, then I've got this Camelback 
thing, hydration pack, that's what it's called, completely full of just plain water. So I can alternate between the two. If I want some like actual nice plain water with no taste, I can go from this little thing here. Big thanks to Molly and a guy called Yuri for uh, giving me this just before the event. I'm definitely glad I've got it. I've drunk a lot from it already. And uh, it has four liters of capacity, which is absolutely huge. Staying on top of it, just about. I was feeling a little bit sick from eating loads of gels, but uh, yeah, a little bit of normal food when I stop to fix my cleat makes all the difference. Well, um, Peter Sagan is actually here at this feed zone. So if I start riding right now, I will be in the lead. Or maybe not. My plan's foiled. Peter Sagan at the rest stop, apparently for 20 minutes. He's just chilling. Good enough for him, good enough for me. Sometimes you just need to enjoy a bike ride. And he was sat there with his teammate, I think it was Daniel Oss, just having a laugh. This is a fun ride, even though it's raining quite a lot now. About 40 miles to go. Legs feeling a lot better after a packet of crisps. How many GoPros can the GoPro go? So I was wondering if you're gonna carry your full size. The big camera? Yeah, I know. No, I think it would have died. Sorry guys, I brought the English weather with me. How, well, one, how is your ride going? Two, how did you end up behind me? I uh, thought you were up the road. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we were all in the front row, going into the very first turn, so we decided to uh, lay down. Yeah, there was a lot of that. And it was unavoidable. I'm right next to Sagan, and there's a couple people over here. We were on the inside of the turn. Somebody laid it down, and I mean, I just like, yeah. So my bars are twisted, broke a spoke, uh, like kind of bad. And uh, so I get my shit together. I was there like fixing my bike for a few minutes. And I chased for like two hours. Yeah. Make contact with like, you know, I wasn't gonna make it to the front, but with kind of the lead group of various pros and you know, dignitaries, whatever. And then I puncture and just like slice the tire in half. I'm standing there like. Luck is not on your side today. Oh, not at all. But it's been great because I get to drop back and hang out with everybody. It's spitting, Molly. It's a bit. 20 miles to go. Okay, this is, everybody's gonna get demoralized and you and I are gonna get revitalized. <laughs> really hypothermic. This is a little trick I picked up in the tour. Find some garbage. You doing right? Yeah. Find some garbage on the side of the road and... You just really wanted a Pizza Hut box. It's like a greasy Pizza Hut box. Keep me warmer on the descent. So this is the difference between living in uh, Newcastle versus... Wait, hang on, you're from Portland, that's cold. That's basically the UK. <laughs> I'm so over it. And it's not 100 miles, it's 105 miles. What? Yeah. Oh. When you see 100 on your screen, it's a lie. I signed up for 100, I'm stopping. Okay, well, good luck. <laughs> so is Molly. Thank you. I gotta do well helmet, helmet squeeze. Helmet squeeze, yeah. Oh, I got one drop. Well, that's uh, that. Oh, it's because you're dehydrated. It's the American helmet squeeze. Look, I got loads left. Helmet squeeze has been done. <laughs> Unbound has been ridden. We're feeling good. What a day. Shower time. Shower. Yeah, I've kind of got into it. I might just stay like this. I know. You're warm. You're ready to go. Feral. Yeah. You're just getting started. Yeah. Garmin Unbound. Absolutely wicked experience. Big thanks to Garmin for sending me out here. Yeah. Time for a beer. A warm beer. Lots Do you beer. think that exists? Yeah, like, yeah, multiple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Multiple. I also want an American McDonald's. What distance did you do? You did great. I did uh, hundreds because I'm sensible. Oh, okay. You did the XL, right? Yeah. How long did it take you? 23:09. And like finished in a sprint. Good to see you, man. Did great to see you. Was it for you? Did you beat Sagan? Tyler did the uh, 350 mile okay, one. So he started at 3 p.m. yesterday. Rode all through the night and. And now you're here, sat on the floor. You actually look pretty fresh. And now you've cleaned your face with that towel. You look good uh, as new. 
I'm now back home, fairly jet lagged, but what an amazing weekend. Massive thanks to Garmin and a bit of a shout out to them to end today's video because they are hosting another event in the UK. I know there's a lot of you from the UK. Garmin are hosting a road cycling event called the Garmin Rideout, which is on the 20th of August. I'm gonna put links in the description down below if you're interested in entering that. It's all in aid of Action Medical Research, so a fantastic cause and a brilliant day out. Probably in better conditions than Kansas was, but no promises. Thank you as always for watching these videos and stay tuned for more coming next week where I might be doing a bike packing trip, which is long overdue. See you guys soon.